All right, so ladies and gentlemen, all we simply need to do, um, I'm going to show you a different way than looking at synthetic division. And, and synthetic division can become very, very powerful for us to apply because just like long division, we are going to take a divisor, divide into our dividend, and receive a quotient. But what's very, very helpful about synthetic division is that it really cuts down a lot of the legwork that we have to do when you apply in long division. However, there is kind of a couple um, things that we have to make sure that when applying synthetic division that we do. First of all, we can only create, do synthetic division when our divisor is a binomial. All right? That means it has two terms. So if we do not have our divisor in binomial, I'm sorry, as a linear binomial, as long as it is a linear binomial, meaning we cannot divide by x squared plus 4, that would not work. Okay? You cannot divide by, because that's not linear, right? That's quadratic. You also cannot do, um, you could also not do like a... Uh, 3x um, squared plus 2x minus 1. Again, that's quadratic. It's not linear form. But there's three terms, right? It has to be a linear binomial, which we're going to talk about a little bit further in here. So as long as you have it in linear form, you can divide using thin synthetic division. Now, the next thing that we're going to do when using synthetic division, all right, is you have to make sure that your dividend is in standard form, meaning you have it in descending order with your largest degree first, and then in descending order from there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a box. And all we're simply going to do is take the coefficients of each term and put them into the box, kind of like on their own column. Now, let's pretend there was not an x here. That was 26, right? OK. Let's pretend there was an x here. If there was no x there, you'd want to put a 0 in for its place. All right. But we do have an x, so we're going to write 26x. Well, all I'm saying is if there wasn't one, you'd make sure you put a 0. But for every variable, you want to make sure that you have a place value. So therefore, I have 2, negative 13, 26, and negative 24. Okay, So you just take the coefficient of each term, and you write them inside the box. All right. Now. Negative 24 is a constant. You're right. It's not a coefficient. It's a constant. But you're going to include the constant as well. Then, Justin, the next thing you're going to do, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to get too much into this, all right, um, because we're going to learn about wh what this is later. But for right now, all I want you guys to focus on is just taking the opposite of what's in your, actually, well, you can just take this. The easiest way to do it is just take whatever your divisor is, set your divisor equal to 0, and solve. That is going to be the number you're going to be dividing by as your divisor. Okay? We'll explain a little bit more about that later. We'll learn why is it the positive 4. But right now, just take your divisor, set it equal to 0, and that's going to be what you're going to use for your synthetic division. Okay? So here's the process. It's very basic. I'll leave it up here as you guys practice. It's pretty easy to kind of follow. First number is a freebie. You bring it down, which is your 2. Then you multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. Then you add. Negative 13 plus 8 is going to be a negative 5. Then you multiply. Negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20. Add. 26 plus a negative 20 is going to be now a positive 6. Multiply. 6 times 4, positive 24. Add. Negative 24 plus 24 is a 0. Sure. So all we do, first one is a freebie. Bring it down. Multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. Add. Negative 13 plus 8 is negative 5. Multiply. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Add. Negative positive 26 minus plus a negative 20, positive 6. Multiply. 6 times 4 is positive 24. Negative 24 plus 24 is 0. The one sometimes we like to think about it is when you go in the vertical, or the, uh, not vertical, but when you go a diagonal lines, you multiply. When you go vertically, you're adding. Yes? Are you allowed to use this for a long time? 
Oh, yes. But you only when you're using long division when you're dividing by a linear binomial. Okay. Um, however, for your test, I will ask to see long division, and I will ask to see synthetic division. So the last step to get your answer is sometimes this is the best way I like to explain it. If you go with constant, linear, quadratic, and what does this get divided by? X, please? Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Sorry. Remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. So always your last term is always going to be your remainder. So if you have a remainder, Sarah, then you remember, like, write the remainder, right, divided by your divisor. Then the last number is always going to be your constant. This term is going to be your linear and then quadratic. So therefore, your final answer is going to be 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. And obviously, since you're not adding a remainder, that's going to be it. And that's your answer. OK? There you go. Well, um, it is easier.